Assalamualaikum. In this video, we will learn how we can integrate STP Survival Template Pro with the FSMAI template. So, I am just starting from scratch so that uh, you can uh, learn how you can actually add STP to your project and FSM and then how you can integrate. So, we are using 2021 and uh, 3D project. Just uh, name it STP and FSM and then we can just click on create project okay so that uh, in this step uh, now uh, our project is uh, created and uh, now we will import the template so as you can see that the STP survival template pro version 1.3.0.1 is uh, actually available with us so we'll just drag drop here in the project and uh, then we will wait for some seconds to compile the scripts okay at this step uh, we will just uh, click on import and install and upgrade sometimes it will happen that uh, your project will not be imported and uh, then again you will drag drop the stp into the project okay so in the first step he will just uh, configure the input system etc and then other settings related to stp and then again when you will import the uh, asset uh, it will uh, finalize the things uh, uh, with second step okay so sometimes this happens so don't worry you should import your project again okay package again so let's see what will happen with us and then we will move further okay so now you can see that it uh, is saying us that uh, we have to restart the editor so we'll just click on yes and it will restart the editor okay and then again when the editor will be restarted then we will again import the asset to our project okay so let's wait for some seconds will take some time some seconds maybe for uh, serializing the assets and now here you can see that uh, it's actually importing the assets and now it's again restarted so that's great we will wait for some seconds then unity editor will reopen then we will again import the asset to the project Okay, so now you can see that uh, we our project is reopened, but we don't have any STP here. So we have to again import the STP asset to the uh, project. Okay, so this is important. Okay, so now we will repeat the process: import, install, upgrade again, and now this time. We will just click on import and it will start importing the main assets. Okay, so now our project is imported and if we open the uh, poly mind games folder survival template samples and if we open the demo scene and uh, let's go to the demo scene and let's go to the showcase maybe and let's try hopefully it will work okay so now you can see that uh, if we play the scene hopefully uh, everything is uh, working correctly hopefully let's see yeah our scene is uh, good we can hit the weapons and we can shoot that's great we can pick the gun as well hopefully Yeah. Okay, so that's great. Our STP is in action, and now we will import the FSM. So let's find out FSM, and we are actually importing the 1.1.7b version of FSM AI template. So let's import it. at this step we will import everything including in vector third person controller which is uh, already embedded in this package okay 
so both are important so we'll just click on import this step we will click on just just for these files okay so in vector is also imported and uh, we don't have any errors i think if we play the game hopefully we don't have any errors so it means that uh, in vector is imported successfully that's great and uh, now we will uh, just uh, install the extension uh, for this uh, in vector package integration extension so we will just go to the polymind and uh, integrations and here you can see MRL day I already have tutorial on this and then FSMAI template so let's uh, double click on this package and we'll just click on import it will import the package also we'll just uh, open the uh, documentation so that uh, if uh, uh, we will follow along so let's uh, move it and now if we go to console click you can see we have three errors the fsm player damage error player damage error player damage error so we have to fix this error we health controller yeah this uh, first one is uh, player damage error fsm player damage v damage and uh, damage start okay so this error is belongs to only one script fsm ai player damage so let's double click on this script to open and analyze this uh, okay so uh, here you can see that uh, we have fsm ai player damage and uh, we have controller and then uh, we will have some errors in this script you can see approximately seven errors and here you can see get uh, i director uh, player free damage change health etc 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 okay so now you can see that this uh, ai player damage uh, is equal to this one so actually this is getting the uh, the script is uh, getting this uh, script which is uh, v health controller so just uh, move back and uh, let's see where is our v health controller script and uh, let's open this script and now we are in v health script and here you can see that uh, on the top of the script we have the in vector added here so if we copy this uh, sometime it happens so if we copy this and uh, let's go to fsma player damage and if we add in vector uh, dot v health controller uh, then now you can see that uh, we have solved the issues okay but we have still issue here in the take damage so here we will just right in vector dot v damage it is a v damage is also the uh, variable from the in vector script so save it move back and let's see and yeah i think now our errors are fixed now our errors are fixed and uh, now we will see that how we can actually uh, add the enemy and uh, uh, just test it out so uh, let's go back to invector ai and uh, invector ai and uh, we just go to prefabs and we have a lot of prefabs here so let's add some prefab uh, maybe uh, ai shooter okay let's add it here and uh, now this uh, enemy is adding, added i think this is a pistol enemy you can use uh, any enemy uh, you want and now we will fix some important things uh, by looking out the documentation so here you can see that uh, what we have to do 
uh, set the detect the layer of the AI hit box to hit box okay so this uh, detect layer where is detect layer okay it is under the AI shooter controller detection so let's go here and uh, AI shooter and AI shooter and detection and detect layer uh, detect layer okay here we will add the uh, hit box yeah, which one uh, yeah hit box okay then set the damage layer uh, of a AI to default hit box and no collision then we will go to the uh, manager AI shooter manager where is it there it is so open it and then we have the this uh, damage layer so what we have to select uh, we have to select uh, uh, default hitbox no collision uh, default is already selected uh, hitbox and uh, no collision okay so you can see that uh, here we don't have no collision so if uh, maybe uh, without that uh, it uh, will work but uh, we can actually add that uh, ignore collision actually yeah here it is ignore collision so let's select this one okay and then what we have to do next uh, add fsm normally add fsm character stp fixer comment on the root of ai prefab so we have to add this fsm character stp fixer and uh, surface uh, and uh, set the surface into the editor empty or flash okay okay set the surface into either, either empty or flash so and after that just press the uh, but button okay so uh, fsm uh, character stp fixer so let's go here uh, select the ai click here fsm uh, stp yeah, this one okay. then uh, the character layer uh, okay uh, that was character layer which layer the announcement and surface uh, set the surface into either empty or flash okay so not to the which is surface select the flash maybe okay so let's select flash and then click on fix and remove this component okay so that's great that is also done so what next now we move further and here as you can see we have to add players on the player setup add an fsm ai player damage component fsm ai player damage component to to the hitbox of the player okay so for the STP, uh, this is not the player and uh, if you click here uh, on the main, uh, sorry, STP model, then you can see here uh, the player is actually spawning from somewhere. So here is the player, you can see, we will click on this prefab and now we are on this prefab. We will double click on this prefab to open the prefab, okay, so that we can make the changes and then we will find out the hitbox under this uh, under this uh, hitbox body okay here it is and on this uh, component we will add the but we will add the hitbox uh, to the uh, fsme player damage okay so add component fsm ai player damage and that's great you can open it and you can make the changes so for for example 
we have minimum health we have health recovery we have uh, immortal you can add okay and fill health to on start okay that is fine and if you add uh, initial health you can do so as well current health okay so let's add uh, 20 maybe and uh, that's good and that's it I think and yeah so now we will save the prefab and let's move back and uh, let's uh, uh, play the game and let's see okay let's uh, find out some return yeah he is uh, detecting us and I will just pick the weapon you can see he is detecting and uh, shooting us and uh, let's uh, yeah, we are also damaging him and uh, uh, for this character definitely the uh, behavior is different, you can fix the behaviors but uh, anyhow you can see that uh, we can damage the uh, enemy and he can damage us and you can see that enemy is killed. So that's great, so that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully and that how we can implement FSMAI with the STP. Goodbye.